In this video, we're going to show you how to install pigtails and ball cabling into both a small and large power box. Let's start off with a pigtail in a small power box. To get inside the box, we're going to have to take off two Phillips head screws. We can go ahead and take out the power adapter for now. And the part we want to focus on is this green bar at the bottom. This green bar is not labeled with positive or negative, but if we turn the box, we can see there's a diagram explaining which one is positive and which one is negative. According to the diagram, the first one on the left will be positive and the second one will be negative. I'm going to loosen up the first two screws on this green bar. You can use a Phillips or flat blade screwdriver. I chose to use a flat blade. On the pigtail, you'll see a black and a red wire. Red means positive and black is negative. So we're going to take these two ends and push it into the positive and negative. And simply tighten them in. The process for installing bulk Siamese cable is almost exactly identical, there's just one extra step. Siamese coax cable consists of a video and a power. The video is one solid wire and the power side of the cable has a positive and negative. So we're going to strip this away. And shave off this black coating on top of the positive and negative wire. I went ahead and stripped it, so let's go ahead and install this into the power box. For pigtails, you can install them first by securing them into the terminal block. Another way to put your cables in is to punch out one of the holes on the bottom of the box. This will make it a lot easier for the Siamese or bulk cabling. In another video, we're going to show you how to tip the end of your video cable with BNC connections. We'll put the link in the description so you can click on that if you have any trouble putting connections on your cable. After you've secured your connections to your terminal block, you're going to want to take the adapter that plugs into the wall, feed that through one of the holes, plug that in to the connector in the top left hand corner of the box. Plug this into the wall and you'll have power to your system. Let's go ahead and take a look at how we're going to fasten our pigtail and Siamese coax cabling into our larger power box. When you first open the power box, you'll see that there is an adapter to plug into the side of the box and then the wall. This cardboard can be removed as soon as you install it. This is only to protect the components under it. And you'll find a bag of two keys, this is a lock box, and three screws for mounting the power box. Under the terminal block, you'll notice that there is a positive and a negative 
to show you which terminal is which. We're going to go ahead and loosen up a couple of these so we can put our cable in. About three or four full turns will do it. We can go ahead and take our pigtail, put this in. Remember, red is positive, black is negative. Go ahead and do the same for our Siamese coax cable. We can go ahead now and take our power plug, put that into the side of the box. After we plug this into the wall, all we have to do is switch this on and you'll have power to your system.